All right, Shalom. First of all, giving all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Kakodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Much love, peace, and blessing to all you hopeful elect brothers out there that's pushing this truth across the four corners of the globe. This is brother and not by Ayasha, the GMS Indianapolis camp, come with another episode to get your mind right. Today, we're going to be dealing with the Lord is our defense. Okay, contrary to popular belief, the Lord is the only thing that can protect you and save you, you know what I'm saying, or keep you from her harm and danger, you know what I'm saying? A lot of y'all put y'all trust in this government, y'all put y'all trust in the church pastor, put your trust in uh, Ray Ray down the street with the two pit bulls, you don't put your trust in Yahweh by Shemel Shai. Therefore, he can't be your defense. Why? Because you don't you don't know him. You, you're not trying to know him. Only the hopeful elect, Lord willing, I'm one of those brothers. We the only ones that know that what the Lord is our defense. You know what I'm saying? Even when your boss is tripping at the job, we still know that you how about Shimmy Al is defending us. When people are trying to slander your name, drag your name through the mud. I always know that what you how about Shimmy Al is your defense. Even if you if your body gets ill, guess what? You how about Shimmy Al Shai is still your defense. You know what I'm saying? Allah can't defend you. Buddha can't defend you. See what I'm saying? Amin Ra can't defend you. Lady Shiva can't defend you. You know what I'm saying? Reverend uh, Reverend Tater Tot, he can't defend you. You see what I'm saying? Only one that can defend you is what? Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. And even in that, he's not even everybody defense in that. Everybody can't be defended of him. You have to be a what? Uh, uh, of the elect of the nation of Israel. You see what I'm saying? You have to be an Israelite first and foremost. But then on top of that, the elect, the elect is the only ones he's defending right now. Why? Because even two-thirds of our own people, they'd rather be defended by who? The government, by Esau. You know what I'm saying? The so-called white man, Esau, Edom, the nation of Edom, or Idumia in the Greek. But see what I'm saying? So we're going to start off with Psalm 7 and 10 right here. It says, my defense is of Yahweh, which saveth the upright in heart, meaning the upright in what? Mind. The ones that's trying to follow the law, statute, commandments to the best of their ability. <laughs> Through the spirit and power of Yahweh, by Shemar, Shai, which give it to us to do it. See, you, hey, that's a having an upright heart or, or upright mind, knowing that what? You can't do nothing without Yahweh, by Shemar, Shai. The ones that don't have an upright mind is the ones that you you kept saying that the Bible is not the word of God, but the word of God is contained in the Bible. That's not a person of an upright heart or an upright mind or a righteous spirit. You see what I'm saying? That's somebody that's wicked. You know what I'm saying? People saying that John the Baptist fell out the truth or Yahweh Shah is not to be worshipped or if you're waiting on your house shy, you're wasting your time. Those are not people that's in an upright heart, meaning an upright mind, in the right state of mind. They're basically spiritually retarded. You see what I'm saying? Because why? They don't have the defense of Yahweh Shemel Shai. A, a person that creates the heavens and earth, you mean to tell me that you'll turn your back on him for somebody whose kingdom is falling apart right before your face. See what I'm saying? It don't make sense. I'm going to look up this word defense right quick. Go right quick. Hold on. Yeah. Here we go. My defense. All 
right? Let's see. Francis McGon, uh, Chio Buckler. Let's see. I see a protector. Also, the scale and out of note. Arm buckler defense ruler scale shield, but right here is protector. See what I'm saying? So, the only one that could protect us from any type of hurt, harm, or danger, or any type of wiles of Satan that's trying to bring against us is who? Yeah, how about Shimon Shah? See what I'm saying? But a lot of y'all are too carnal to even acknowledge. Yeah, how about Shimon or he or even acknowledge his existence? Some of y'all try to just do away with Yahweh Shah, period, man. You act like he, he is a, of no significance to you. See what I'm saying? Y'all argue up and down the fact that you trying to say that he didn't create no miracles. Are you crazy? See what I'm saying? That's a that's what spiritual retardation, man. All right, we're going to go to Numbers 14 and 9. It says, only rebel not ye against the Lord. And that's what a lot of you Israelites are doing. You're rebelling against the Lord. When the Lord say, don't eat pork, oh, it's not what you put, what you put in your body that, that fires what comes out. You see what I'm saying? You're being rebellious against the Lord. What the Lord say, rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft. You see what I'm saying? So a lot of y'all, a lot of y'all are committing sorcery and witchcraft and don't even know it because you're rebelling against the Lord. You see what I'm saying? The Lord said, don't make mention of any other guys. And you people, you Israelites, you Negroes, Latino, Native American, you will sit there and bow down before a golden cow or an alligator with a, with a baboon face and call it Amun Ra. You see what I'm saying? It says, back in Numbers 14 and 9, it says, Only rebel not ye against the Lord, neither fear ye the people of the land. See, what the scripture said, the Lord having given us a spirit of fear, but a power of love and a sound mind. Remember, Yahweh Bashim Yahshai told us to make our face hard against their face, make our head hard against their head as an adamant to flint. See what I'm saying? We ain't supposed to be scared of these people of the land, man. They're heathens. They're beneath us. We're a royal people, man. And it's time for our people to start carrying themselves in a royal manner. Instead of this peasant mind state listening to their daddy, Esau. Why? Because Esau gave you Section 8 and food stamps and all these, uh, the PPP loan. That's the biggest thing. You Jakes went crazy. You lost your mind over this PPP loan. But now it's starting to catch up with you. Now, now they're starting to lock y'all up. Scriptures say, uh, 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 what does it say? Trust not your enemy. It said, never trust thy enemy. The water y'all by Shemel Shai. The Lord said, never trust thine enemy. Just as iron rusts, so did his wickedness, man. Meaning it's going to happen. He's going to show his horns. He's going to show you how wicked he is. He already showing you how wicked he is. How much more you need for him to say that, hey, hello, I am wicked. I am Dr. Evil. Before you people start waking up, man. Back in Numbers 14 and 9, only rebel not ye against the Lord, neither fear ye the people of the land, for they are bred for us. Yeah, they are come up. You know what I'm saying? They're, they're, they're our servants. To be honest about it, we just in the lower state because of what our, this is our punishment for what rebelling against the Lord. We've always been rebellious to the Lord as a nation. Our people still rebellious to this day. What is it? February 28, 2022, our people still rebellious. Celebrating all these wicked holidays set up by your enemy. You fall for a hook line and seek a why? Because it's appealing to the flesh. You don't care because you to re rebel against your how about Shimei or Shai. You don't believe in them no way. That's why you talk crazy. Cause that's why you can say you call them anything you want. Yo, play yogurt. That's somebody that don't have respect for your how about Shimei or Shai. 
You blaspheme the name. Look, guys, it's the name of the Lord. You got it written backwards. You're supposed to go from right to left. You got it from left to right, like, like you write in English. See what I'm saying? That's no respect for the Lord, man. It says their defense is departed from them. Yeah, these man, look, these these heathens don't have any protection at all. That's why they and they're seeking for some. That's why they're willing to bat down to a, a elephant with nine arms, to a green woman with 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 eight arms, seven, eight to nine arms, like an octopus. They're so desperate. They, these people are bound down to rocks. Oh, it's a mighty meteor that that fell from the heaven to the earth in Allah. You see what I'm saying? These people are searching for power. But our, our people have a power. You so-called Negroes, Latino, Native Americans, you have the true and living power, the true and living defense, man. Who you think defended us when we escaped Egypt from under Pharaoh's hand? Who you think did that? That was your how about Shimei was shot. It wasn't Jebus Christ. No, it wasn't him. It wasn't Allah. No, it wasn't him. It wasn't Buddha. Nope. It wasn't Lady Shiva. Nope. It wasn't Astarte or Ishtar or Diana or Lady Liberty. Nope. Who was our protector against those Egyptians? Their Heavenly Father and the Son, Yahweh. And Yahweh Shai, not Yah or Yah Yahshua or Yahoshua. You know what I'm saying? Not Elohim. No, it's Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, the Heavenly Father and the Son. It said, their defense is departed from them, and the Lord is with us. Who is us? The nation of Israel. It's, it said, fear them not. We're not supposed to be afraid of these heathen, man. But you, you people out there, you more afraid of the heathen than you is of the Lord. See what I'm saying? You'll run 90 red lights, outrun a police car just to get to work on time, just so you won't get a point from Esau. I mean, yeah, you. I mean, you're supposed to make it to work on time, but some of y'all be going overboard. You're acting like your life is on the line. Oh, my God, I can't be late. Oh, no, please. Oh, I can't be late. I don't want no point. I don't want no point. I'm trying to get this bonus at the end of the year. <laughs> the scriptures say never trust our enemies. Shit. <laughs> See, you don't believe that Yahweh by Shimei was shy is our true defender, man. See what I'm saying? Let's see. The scriptures. I'm gonna get one more. I ain't gonna make this long. Let's see. Okay. Psalms 89 and 18. Except for the Lord is our defense. That's a possessive pronoun. Our. For the Lord is our defense. And the Holy One of Israel is our King. See, that's our defense and our King, the Heavenly Father and the Son, Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. You know what I'm saying? Not ADT Security Company, not the Ring Security Alarm, you know, the Ring Security Camera to put on your doorbell or whatever. That's not the true defense. It's not the National Guard and your whatever respective town you stay in. You know what I'm saying? Buckshot, uh, Buckshot, Tennessee. No. Your true defense is Jehovah Bashim Yahweh Not FEMA. Not a WHO, the World Health Organization. No. Not Drake. Not 2 Chains, Not a Fetty Wap. Not NLE Chopper. Not Lil Baby. Not Dub Baby. All these babies and toddlers. No, our true defense is who? Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. That's our true protector. See what I'm saying? 
So if you don't believe he's, he's your true protector or defense, well, guess what? You're not going to make it. And the said perils is coming. Jacob's trouble, the MOTB, World War III, which is on the brink, about to happen soon. The collapse of this economy, no food, famine. See what I'm saying? If you don't believe in how about Shimei Oshai, guess what? He won't be defending you. You'll be defenseless out here. You'll be getting your head knocked off. <laughs> Why? Because you didn't believe that Yahweh Bashim Al Shai was your true protector, your true defense. With that, hey, a ball, a ball, shalom.